I'm with Sherry Kalbaum, juice lady and co-author of George Foreman's Knock Out the Fat Barbecue and Grilling Cookbook. We are here in the Beyond Organic Kitchen, and what are we cooking up today? Today we have beautiful wild-caught salmon burgers, and we have a beautiful rainbow slaw I'm putting mm. together, and we're also going to have uh, a mayo with some lemon and ginger juice and basil that I'm going to stir up to put on the burgers. Fantastic. Well, salmon is certainly a superfood du jour, loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, high-quality protein, as well as vitamins. In fact, Sherry, one four-ounce serving of salmon, that's wild, contains 100 IUs of vitamin D. That's about 25% mm. of the daily value. Boy, do we need that. And when you get wild salmon, the carotenoid, the pigment that makes salmon pink or orange or red, is called astaxanthin, which is becoming a superstar antioxidant. Yes. Up to 500 times more powerful than vitamin E, dozens of times more powerful than vitamin A and vitamin C. Great for endurance, great for energy, immune system health, cardiovascular health, and Sherry, astaxanthin is best known as an internal sunscreen. Yes, yes, and they're showing now that actually they did a study in the UK and they showed that people that ate a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables got a beautiful glow to their skin and it was voted more attractive than a suntan. Wow, it's Pretty like the cool. carrot tan. So <laughs> salmon, as well as fruits and veggies, are a great source of antioxidant carotenoids and this gives you the whole gamut. So what have you added here, Sherry? It looks like a little bit of egg. I put in a couple of eggs. We, we beat those up. Some onion that's been chopped up. And a little lemon juice is going in here. How about some parsley? This is going to add some of the dark greens that we keep talking about that Absolutely. you need to get more of in Colorful. your diet. And a lot of vitamin C in that parsley. A little bit of cayenne pepper. That's going to give it a little kick. A little zing. And some uh, basil is going in here. So there we go, and I'll start mushing this up. And each and every mush is loaded <laughs> with antioxidant superfoods. Lemon juice is wonderful. A lot of times, Sherry, I tell people who feel like they're overly acidic to wake up in the morning, squeeze a half a lemon yes. in their water. It helps to purify your kidneys, and it's great for your liver. And now we've got, Sherry, a nice little sauce. So it's sort of like a tartar sauce yeah, mayo combo. So we got mayo. Now real quickly, when looking at mayo from the health food store, you do not want canola oil mayonnaise. Sherry, I am not a fan of canola oil. No, it is often genetically either. modified and it's very popular, but not on my menu. I would recommend you find an organic mayonnaise that is soy oil based. You could also use a safflower or sunflower oil based mayonnaise and try to get mayo that is high in omega-3s. Here's our beautiful sauce. I've got just a little bit of ginger juice in there. You know, I sneak that in in so many things I make because it's anti-inflammatory. And I know so many, many people that are watching our show suffer from inflammation and you want to bring that down. If you have diabetes, if you have heart disease, so many different conditions, any itis. It's the hidden inflammation they talk it about. Is. It's, it's not just anything that ends in ITIS like bursitis, right. gingivitis, colitis, arthritis your brain. We believe now that Parkinson's and Alzheimer's has an inflammatory component. Remember, yes. spices and herbs don't just spice up your meals. They spice up your health as well. Oh, I love that. So I'm going to take a look. Oh, beautiful salmon burgers. Oh, look at these. I think these are cooked to perfection. So I'm going to dish one of these up before I do the slaw. Sherry, I don't know about you, but I eat wild salmon five to seven times a week. In fact, I choose mm, sockeye I love. because sockeye salmon, which is the deepest red yes. color of all the salmon. Why? Because it has up to four times the astaxanthin. So I get wild sockeye salmon directly from Alaska. And with canned wild salmon being available all year round, mm -hmm. this becomes an inexpensive superfood dinner or lunch. And they don't have to put dye in wild salmon and they right, do those hold, hold poor on. things that come from farms. All right, farms. now we're going to talk about farm raised. Yes. You know, because people like the term farm raised. All of us would tend to think, oh, that sounds wonderful. Unless it says wild or Alaskan. All Alaskan salmon at this point is wild. But look for wild yes. becoming a popular term. If it's not wild or Alaskan, if it says something generic like Atlantic or Pacific, it's probably coming as a dark grayish colored yes. fish. Of course they're going to dye it because who would buy gray salmon? That's right. Wild is always the best. But you told me something, Sherry, that was a little scary. 
Farm-raised salmon consume a diet of pellets, and you told me you did some research on what's in those pellets. Besides fish oil and fish meal, there's also toxins, PCBs, dioxin, flame retardants, yikes, and then chicken feces. Wait, hold on, uh, you didn't just say feces on TV. I did, did and they're putting it in those pellets, and then cornmeal, GMO corn, probably uh, almost always it's going to be GMO cornmeal, soy, another GMO product, and GMO canola oil. All are going in those and pellets. And if you can't get wild salmon, which is very common that you cannot get it at a restaurant, go for fish like snapper, yeah. you can go for sea bass, you can go for flounder, sole. All of these fish are wild and not farm raised yeah. at the time. So let's get right to the delicious rainbow slaw. Here we go, and I'm making a dressing. So we're going to have mayo as the base. So get a good mayonnaise, as Jordan said. How about some raw honey? And I know you love raw honey. Enzymatically alive, pre-digested raw honey. God didn't just tell us to go into a land of milk and honey for no reason. It's not a spiritual allegory. This is the truth. Honey and bees symbolize health and fertility, flowers, pollination, healthy soil, and it makes a great little sweet taste yes. to this rainbow slaw. Now, this is gonna be a silly question, Sherry, but why is it called a rainbow slaw? Because it, we've got all these rainbow colors. I've got uh, both purple and green cabbage, but to that I'm adding shredded carrot, some oh, chopped yum. purple onion, and some apple, some oh, green apple. Oh, that great, very So it's sweet gonna be really fun. And delicious. Cabbage is high in vitamin C, it's high in many minerals, but it is best known for a vitamin you've never heard of, vitamin U. In fact, Sherry, vitamin U, which is an active form of sulfur, was named because it is known to help with ulcers. It was the anti-ulcer vitamin. You can have sauerkraut, which is cultured cabbage, or you could juice cabbage or add it to part of your juice recipe. Yes, now here's some apple cider vinegar and some celery seed is going in here. So this is our dressing, our delicious homemade dressing for our beautiful rainbow slaw. Oh, wow. And it's got some tart, some sweet, it's got the mustard in there. Loaded and the with herbs. enzymes, yeah. it's got great nutrition and it balances so well with these salmon burgers. Sherry, mm. fish is brain food. It is brain food, and you know so many people, Jordan, say to me, I've got brain fog. I just, I can't even think straight anymore. You've got to start eating brain food, and fish is one, and yep. all our wonderful veggies and our omega-3 fats. Egg fatty yolks fats. are great for the brain, so this yes. really is a nutritional, power-packed meal that is great for the body and the mind. All right, would you mind handing me that plate? I'm going to dish up some beautiful rain food. As long as it's mine, Slaw. Sherry, I That's will yours? hand it to you. This is uh, oh, lunch. delicious. For Jordan. Sherry, this looks absolutely fantastic. And this and other delicious and healthy recipes are available free by logging on to our website. I'm Jordan, here with Sherry, reminding you to eat beyond organic. Where is a fork?